Rob G, tell us what uh, Jason Tate or what T Mac said about sure. Jason T Mac was interviewed by NBC Sports Washington, their website over there, and he was asked about Jason Tatum's long term potential. Here's what he said I think he can be really good. We're talking KD status. I think this kid has the potential to be that good. He's already showing glimpses of that in his young NBA career. I think he has the ability to win multiple championships, be an MVP of the NBA. He definitely has that ability. That's a that's a mouthful. Uh, some of what he said isn't far fetched. Can he win multiple rings? I mean, Rob, we did that for trolling or rolling yesterday. I, and and I and as I think about it, I probably. I roll with it, but I, I think it's more of a troll. Two championships is a lot. And, um, I mean, he may get it. It's just hard to say. We talk about um, it all the time. It's hard to win, Chris. It's Are you hard kidding? to win, man. I mean, if LeBron played honest, 20 years, he's got four. And to that point, Rob, if you had told me in 2004 or 2007 that LeBron is when he went first went to the finals. Remember that LeBron James is going to play twenty years, and and have or let's say nineteen years, and have four championships. I would have been like, no way, he's getting more than that. He's getting more than that. And but he only has four. As great as he is, it's hard to Shaq. Rob has four. Shaq. This is what I'm As saying. Diamond, but, but every wine's got two. Everybody's acting like, oh yeah, you're gonna pile them up. It, it's not. It's not that easy. That's why when you look at uh, Michael and you look at Tim Duncan and and guys like that, and you look at those numbers, you know they're impressive. But most guys only get Chris. You might get one or two if you're lucky. And you just said it, uh, LeBron. We're going year twenty, right? Well, and, and also, Rob, with the Lakers repeated in 1987-88. Before that, Rob, it had been 20 years since the team repeated. 20 years. No repeat champ. Now, you had a lot of teams that returned, but they didn't repeat as champions. And it is difficult. I mean, who thought Giannis wouldn't be in the finals this year? Very few people. And so it's going to be tough. I do think he could be an MVP one day. I definitely think that. Uh, I think Jason Tatum and the, is phenomenal. And, and we're not knocking his career, Chris, and you're right. Like, he's a tremendous player. But to say, like, automatically because he's in the finals this year, like, he hasn't even won anything yet. Like, like Yeah, and look, I mean, he's off to a great start. He's, this is, he's played in, th- is it four conference finals? And now he's in the NBA finals. Um, what I love, he's got handle, uh, he can shoot the three, he can shoot the mid range, he can finish at the rim. He's, he hasn't played well inside the arc so far in this finals, but he's got those abilities. I would like to see him add a post game for series like this when he's struggling, um, in other areas, you can go to that post game, but look, he's not the only one. Most players, a lot of them don't even work on their post game with their trainers anymore. But I would like to see him add that. And, Rob, look, he did outplay Kevin Durant in the first round of the playoffs. But here's what I'll say. The, the, the thing that is the most shocking, and, and at this point I would say I don't think he can get there, is that he could be as good as Kevin Durant. Now, there's a point, Rob, when you achieve and accomplish so much that people have to give you give it to you and say you're better than – I mean – there's a long, many years, Rob. I wouldn't have said Tom Brady was better than Aaron Rodgers, even though he had more Super Bowls. But it got to be you're winning so many that you you just got to give it to him, or or Peyton Manning for that matter. You know, um, so yeah, if Tatum does go on a stretch and just wins a ton of titles, Rob, then you got to rethink it. Right. But the but thing about KD, right. yeah. and look, I think he handles it better than KD, better ball handler. Um, I wouldn't say at this point a better passer or decision maker um, can be a better defender, perhaps. Um, but the thing that KD has that will always have him kind of in rare, rarefied air, Rob. I love is that, that term. seven feet tall. Yep. 
He said he's a unicorn. He's he called Christos Porzingis a unicorn. Talk about uh something that didn't age well. But he himself is a unicorn. Like people would talk, Rob, about Dirk Nowitzki, the best shooting big man ever. Uh, that's over. Kevin Durant is the best shooting big man ever. He's a seven footer with perimeter legitimate guard skills. And he can go off the dribble. He can finish, obviously, at the rim. He can shoot the mid-range. He can post you. He can shoot the three. And and who knows? I mean, look, the way the game is today, we will start to see more players like KD. But he was the, if not the first, if you want to say Dirk, which I would say Dirk, Durant took Dirk to another level. Right. And so... That's the thing. Like, Jason Tatum is great, Rob. And I don't want to belittle it by saying no. there's a lot of 68 guys like that. But it's, he's not going to be as unique no, as and, Kevin and, Durant. And, and that's exactly it. It's just that. Is that we hadn't seen anybody do that, what Durant was doing, handling the ball, being almost seven foot tall. Right. And, and being able to shoot from anywhere, Chris, right? I mean... There's a lot of stuff, and, and I think that separates him. That's why yep. he's unique. That's why people regard him as, as one of the all-time great players. And it's not a slight at, 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 at all to Jason Tatum. Chris is Absolutely. right. There are a lot of players who are his size who have been able to do what he does. I, right. I, he just does. He's another he does, great one. He's another great one who can do it. But yeah, in basketball, right. if you're that size, Chris, you're about that's a basketball player build right there. And, and right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You think of the the guys that we all remember, Rob. They were unique. Russell and Chamberlain when they came along. I mean, athletic seven footers. They weren't George Mikan. All right. They weren't just and I'm not dissing George Mike, and he's they a legend. pedestrian, right? But right, they were athletic seven footers. Dr. J, I mean, he brought street ball to you know professional basketball. Um, Magic and Bird, guys, their size with their passing ability and playmaking ability. Uh, obviously, uh, Michael Jordan, his combination of fundamental skills and athleticism, and he just dominated so much. Um, and then you go LeBron. LeBron, Rob, is the size of Carl Malone. Right. And look at what he's doing on the perimeter. And then you go to a Steph who's, you know, shot with this range we hadn't seen before. Like, those are the types of guys, Shaq, that we all really are like, wow. That's what we remember because they were so unique. And you put Durant, and whether you put him on that group or not, certainly you put him in the group with Steph, uh, his uniqueness just makes him stand out. And that's the thing. I mean, again, if Tatum just goes off, Rob, and wins a ton of then, championships. Then you reevaluate right, it. Exactly. Then you reevaluate it and you change his position. But to think automatically like he's going to get there and displace uh, Kevin Durant, I, I'm with you. I'm not just not there. I can't see it yet. And we both could be wrong. I love Tatum, but will he ever be – in that, like, the top two discussion of best player in the world. Because you no, still got well, Gian right. Giannis is only, like, three years older than him. Giannis ain't going nowhere. Luka is better. I Not at this point, Ja, but maybe Ja will become better. Um, You know, so you you he's got guys that he has to climb. Um, and, 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 you know, that's the question. Durant, whether you think he was the best player in the world at one point or not, he was right there. It was him or LeBron. It was top. He was top two. And will Jason Tatum get to that point? And I didn't even mention Joel Embiid, Nikola Jokic, guys like that. So um, maybe he will. But I, 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 I don't know that you can come out and say it right now. And Rob, we talked last week. Bradley Beal said he could be the face of the league. So he's getting love, and I, I love his game. He should I mean, get love. He's in the yeah, finals, and I get absolutely. it. And he went through a, a difficult road. They beat swept the Nets. Right, it's been they a while since somebody had I a road mean, that hard. Right, they beat the number one seed, Miami. They might not have all the uh, star power or the names like that, but they still were the number one seed in the, in the East. 
So when you look at the road that he went through, he should get love. People should sing his praises. People should expect big things out of him. But he doesn't go to the head of the class. Okay, right. it just doesn't go like that. Jason Tatum, can he ever be as good as Kevin Durant? Your turn. All right, let's kick it off, Chris, with uh, Sergio and El Paso. You're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What up, Sergio? What's up, Chris? Rob, Alex, Rob, man. Hope you guys are well. Hey, hey what's Rob, good? Rob. Hey, Rob, I'm thinking about moving to SoCal soon, so hopefully I gotta get a, I catch a little comedy show of yours. I'll be the loudest, loudest guy in there. Come on, man. You I better know. come tomorrow. I, I, I wish you were moving anymore. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wish I was too, Rob. I wish I was too. It's but, look, you know look, what, man? Let me say this. Let me say this. Because Chris, Chris, I don't have any grand like visions that I'm going to bring the house down. Yes, you do. People are going to be yes, like, oh, do. my God, Rob is so funny. Whatever. No, I'm going to get a couple of chuckles and laughs. I'll be happy with it. I got low expectations. Well, hold on. Okay, home. let's say it goes okay. Okay. I'm pretty good. Yep. Um, you don't tear the house down, but you're not a bust. It goes right. okay. You gonna you want to do more? I assume. No, right? I'll do more. I'll start. I'll, right. I'll go to El Paso for the next show. <laughs> Will you yep. do more, regardless? I think. I, I mean, Obviously, unless, if you tear down the house, a, you do right, more. Of course, if it's a bomb, total bomb, then no. But really, if it's if it's decent, this would be yeah. your last one. Yeah, if it's a total bomb, I don't. I can't expect it to be a total bomb. Because right. I think I have pretty good jokes. I'm ready to go. I do. I really do. But anyway, go ahead, Sergio. We don't want to cut your time. No, that's fine, Rob. As, as long as you make people laugh, mission success, man. I make music. If five people listen to it and listen to it on their daily, I, I, that's a success, man. But I think like Chris said earlier, if Jason Tatum eventually gains more accomplishments than Kevin Durant, which I don't, I don't think he will. He can, but I don't think he will. Then maybe eventually like a lifetime achievement award. Yeah, Jason Tatum had a better career than Kevin Durant. But if you put the best version of Jason Tatum, I don't know when that will be, maybe it's been or whatever, against the best version of KD, KD you can put on any team and they become a championship team. Can you say that about Jason Tatum right now or in three years? That's the question to me. Well, in fairness, and and as much as I I want to credit KD, can you say that about KD? I mean, he hasn't won outside of Golden State. You can say they'd be a contender. A contender, yeah, definitely. Okay, that, you that say exactly. a championship team. Yeah, that exactly. Okay. All right, I'm appreciate the like call, Sergio. The only person I've seen in this era that I can say that about is LeBron. Wherever he goes, that's a championship team. But just don't win all the time. Uh, Drew in New Jersey, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What up, Drew? In short, I, I don't ever see him being better than KD, but I can see him being the best player in the league. Also, I think we need to stop platforming Draymond Green. I think he's he's single-handedly put himself in the Hall of Fame. He single-handedly, by talking, by having his name in the media, gave himself all-star appearances. How can you have three rings and then say you're a Hall of Famer with three all-star appearances that you don't deserve averaging double digits? Meanwhile, Ron Harper has five rings. There's no discussion about him being a Hall of Fame. And I don't want to put Ron Hart in the Hall of Fame. That's all I got. Right. No, I I, look, that's an interesting that's an interesting discussion. First of all, Rob, he's right. We have given Drake. I mean, how many Draymond segments have we done I can't over the last you. week I, and a half? Dude, just because he's he said stuff, right? But I will say this. I do think Draymond Rob is a Hall of Famer. Now, it's because of the accomplishments. And but Ron Harper. As good as he was on those boss on those Bulls teams and on those Lakers teams where he won a ring or rings, Rob, he was not a part of the core like big two or three. Draymond Green, you can his numbers do not tell the story. Draymond Green was an integral part of this dynasty. His defense is tremendous. His playmaking is critical, which would which allowed Steph to be off the ball and running around like Reggie Miller and shooting his shots. And so I I I get it. The, the numbers don't look great, but watching the game, the dude is important. He's more important to these teams than Ron Harper was. I don't want to see Reg, Robert Ory or Ron Harper or Steve Kerr or or in the Hall of Fame. But I do think Draymond's a different level. I think Draymond's similar to Dennis Rodman, Rob. 
Robin wasn't a great skilled player, but I think they both were integral parts just the way they played. Would you yeah, agree with that? I think, yeah, but I, I think Rodman, what did he win? Seven uh His rebound rebounding was far was superior. Far, far superior. Yeah, it was and, ridiculous. And then – he won at a different place. He, you know, he had to. He was one in Detroit two, and then he went to Chicago and won three. I, I think that's. But separate. based on Detroit, he wouldn't have been a Hall of Famer based off Detroit, right? No, no, prob- right. probably, but not. probably not. It was going. But you know what I'm saying? He went places, put and, up and he big won. numbers right, rebounding right. wise. Then he goes to the Bulls because what he did. Remember what he did in San Antonio, even though he kind of imploded, his numbers rebounding were tremendous. And then he goes to Chicago and puts up those rebounding numbers and they win. 